Hey y'all, uh, here we are, gonna make a video about cooking supper on the campfire. It's a nice day out here this evening, it is warm and sunny. It's been a beautiful day, been outside most of the day. Uh, and uh, anyway, I'm gonna make, make supper on the fire. I made a video about building a fire and this is the same fire from that video. So if you go back and you watch that one, that is, that that's the wood from that fire, from that video. So this is what it burned down to, and it looks so good. It is so hot, and it's perfect for cooking on. Um, we got a little bit of flame left in there because some of the wood is still not burned down to all the coals, but I, I gotta go prep uh, some of the food supper is on the table up there i gotta prep it i'm gonna go over here and see what we got on the table here i got my table outside with all my food on it i'm gonna put my camera on the tripod and talk to you about this okay so here is what i've got for supper i've got some broccoli onion mushrooms chicken tenders this is rice that is left over from a meal a few nights ago. I am not gonna cook fresh rice tonight. It's just jasmine rice still. I don't need to cook that in front of you. I have my butter and my coconut oil, which is that is what I cook my food in. A mix of those two. Garlic, I like that minced garlic in the jar. The seasonings are simple. Lauris, pepper, and this is Italian. That's everything we're gonna use in supper tonight. And I'll just video me uh, prepping it kind of and getting it all ready and then we're gonna go put this on the fire in a minute and get it all good and hot and start cooking okay here we go so you've got your bed of coals remember we said they burn down to the white it's really great perfect for cooking on you can uh, buy the proper kind of rack for a fire pit and I will eventually but right now I just have this one anything will do it works great and then this skillet is my favorite it is a lodge 14 inch it's actually the lid that oh it's not lodge it's cabela's look at that it's a cabela's 14 inch skillet and it's a lid to a dutch oven and i love it it's my favorite one i'm gonna put it directly over the middle if i was cooking something else you know you just need to make room and and make some adjustments this is a one one pot meal we're cooking tonight. So we're just gonna let that get hot and we'll start adding our food in. Okay, our skillet is very, very hot now. And like I said before in my other video, you do you, this is what I do. And you don't have to do it exactly like I do it, but this is how I like to cook over fire. And I like to use some coconut oil and some butter together. I love cooking in butter, but it does tend to burn. And so I have found that if I put the coconut oil in there, it doesn't burn. The butter doesn't burn as bad. I'm a little bit tipped here, so we're gonna have to work with that. That's okay, that's just the way it goes. Um, going to put some garlic. Not very much, because my husband's eating too, and he doesn't care for the garlic a whole lot. Some onions, some mushrooms, the broccoli, probably going to need some more oil in that, but for now it's okay, and the chicken tender. Definitely need some more oil in there. Now I do want to say, I know some of you are going to tell me, don't use metal on your cast iron. And yes, I do have a metal spatula tonight. I don't always use metal, but I do like my metal spatula. It keeps things from sticking. And a lot of people say that it, uh, 
takes off the seasoning in your skillet, but I season my skillets all the time. Like just about every time I use them, I re-season them. And so I've never had an issue with it. And like I said, this is just my personal preference. So if you are not used to cast iron and you don't use it a lot, you probably shouldn't use a metal, metal spatula. So just spread that around a bit. Let's get some pepper. And I like to put a little Italian in when I'm doing chicken. Not a lot. You don't want to take away the flavor of the food. You want to cover the flavor of the food up with seasoning. So we're just going to let this kind of saute in the skillet a bit not going to take very long. Uh, I think when I put my skillet over the fire, I think it took about two to three minutes to get this hot. And you can hear it sizzling, so you can hear it's really good and hot. Um, so this is going to be real good. Just let these chicken pieces cook a little more, and then I'll flip them over. And I might kind of cut into them a little bit to make them a little smaller, like that. about how we like them bite size, you know. Now normally I'd have a pot of rice cooking, but I think I already said in the, in the video earlier that I've got some leftover rice and we're gonna eat that up. So I'm just gonna stir it into this when it's all done cooking. All right, so we're gonna let that cook for a few minutes and we'll be right back. Okay, I have to correct myself. I said that this is a lid for a Dutch oven, but it's not. It's a lid for a larger skillet, a larger, deeper cast iron skillet. So it's my favorite one because it doubles up like that and it's a great size. Uh, some people like to put sauces and stuff in like Worcestershire sauce and soy sauce and things like that. You guys, you know, you do you. you Change this up a little bit. Make it make it suitable to what you like, your tastes, your preferences. I just want to show you how to cook a simple meal over a fire. That's my goal here. I just want to show you that it can be done. It doesn't have to be complicated or hard or fancy, and it doesn't have to be packed, pre-packaged, processed foods. You can eat healthy. You can eat good. It doesn't have to be cheap hot dogs just because it's a fire. And this is so easy. And look at this. I've chopped that chicken up into smaller pieces while it was cooking. Everything is cooking real nice. Um, looking so good and smelling good. So it's almost done. This chicken is almost done. Barely, some of the pieces have a little bit of pink left. I'm gonna let it cook a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rice on top. And it'll be kind of heating up. Do that. Probably season that rice just a little bit. I don't think it's seasoned. Okay. So it's just going to heat up slowly. Okay, our food is done. I'm gonna pull it over here so it's not cooking anymore. See, it was stuck just a little bit. And when we get done here, I'm gonna show you how to clean that off. thought it was going to be too much. It looks great. All right. I'm going to scrape this off, put it out here for the birds, and I'm going to show you guys how to clean your skillet after we eat a little bit. That's just going to set down there, and we're going to enjoy our supper. Look at that. Fantastic. Easy, simple, 
delicious and healthy, cooked over the fire. You get a lot of flavor out of it like that. All right, guys, um, I put my skillet back on the fire and I'm gonna, this is the cleanup part. I'm gonna put some water in it. Now, it's important that you don't pull pour cold water in a hot skillet because it could crack it but uh, my skillet was cooled down enough we ate our, our supper and uh, I just put a little bit I put it back on the fire started to get it warm poured some water in let it sit for a few minutes when this water starts to maybe boil a little bit uh, I'll show you what we do to clean it up okay so it's only been about maybe three minutes the water is starting to boil a little bit so this is the super easy cleanup part. You need one of these. This is my favorite kitchen tool of all times. It's just a scraper. It's rounded for the edges. It's perfect, it's beautiful. It doesn't harm the skillet. And I'm just going to clean all that rice that's stuck, which it stuck because my skillet needs seasoned. I need to re-season it. And it, even when they're seasoned, sometimes things stick. That's just the way it goes. No big deal. Look at, it's all up, all of it. And I'm gonna, since we're outside, I'm gonna dump it over here for the birds. And then I'll show you how to, how to season that real quick. Okie dokie, I dump that out. Look at how beautiful that is. I'm just wiping the last little remaining pieces of food out. And all you need to do now is put a little bit of olive oil in, not too much. That's almost too much. That's probably, probably good. And you don't really need it on the heat much more. This is my, uh, my, my oil rag. That's all I use it for. And I use it over and over and over again. I don't ever wash them just when they get too nasty. I just throw them away and get a new one. But you don't want to use paper towel to do this because the paper towel can shed and it messes your skillet up. So I'm just, <clears throat> I'm just getting it all nice and oily. Just gonna do that, let it sit a little bit on the heat. If that starts smoking, if that oil starts burning and smoking, just put a little more on, pull it off the heat a little bit. Just keep doing that for two or three minutes or whatever. And your skillet is good to go. It's beautiful. I love my cast iron and I'm not a professional, but I do enjoy it. Uh, we spent some time overseas in, in the jungle and uh, we cooked over a fire pit a lot and uh, we used cast iron and we were limited on what we could cook, the foods we could cook and, and all our equipment and everything. And this is just stuff I learned over there. And I just wanted to share it with you guys and have a little fun here and show you that you can eat simple, but healthy and you can make it fun enjoy so i'm just going to do this a few more times and it's going to be good to go and thank you for joining me and uh, i hope you guys have a great evening go cook something over the fire <laughs>